Telencephalon. It's the most recently evolved brain region, the telencephalon. It has an outer perimeter called the cortex. The cortex in yellow over here. The cortex. Ah. Human brains have a much larger cortex. Hmm. Then what? Then animals, tigers, lions, that sort of stuff. Other animals. The diencephalon looks like an ice cream cone, or it looks like ice cream on a cone. That's our boy right there, the diencephalon. So we've got the telencephalon with the cortex surrounding it on its perimeter. We've got the diencephalon more towards the middle. It looks like an ice cream on a cone. Let's move this over a bit. It's taking up a lot of room. And it also, and this diencephalon has a dorsal part. A dorsal part. What is dorsal? Upper. Upper. It has a dorsal part. And a ventral part. A dorsal and a ventral part. The dorsal part is called the thalamus. The thalamus. That's the dorsal part. The thalamus. It means the before room, the ante room, the receiving room, the receptacle. Thalamus. Ah. That's interesting. Why would they call it the before room? Let's find out. And then the ventral part is the hypothalamus. The dorsal is the thalamus. The ventral is the hypothalamus. The ventral part is the hypothalamus. The bottom part is the hypothalamus. Hmm, that's the ventral part. It's sort of similar to a flower. Here you see an egg cell and an ovary in a flower, and a receptacle, a.k.a. thalamus. A flower also has an anteroom, a receptacle, a thalamus. Ah. <laughs> this anteroom, the thalamus, is just before, just before the ovary. The important part, just before the ovary. So they call it the anteroom, the thalamus. The thalamus consists of a whole bunch of little structures. The thalamus in our brain, in our brain consists of a whole bunch of little structures, and there they are. A whole bunch of them. Huh. Really? I wonder what they do. And they all seem geared towards communicating with dot 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 <coughs> with what? with the cortex the yellow guy the perimeter the, th the perimeter of the telencephalon so all these guys on the torso all these little structures they want to communicate with the cortex huh If the cortex was the godfather, it's my best rend rendition of Marlon Brando, if the cortex was the godfather, then the thalamus would be Rocco, Rocco, the gangster Rocco. Nobody gets to the cortex, see? Nobody. Except me. Rocco's tough. Thalamus is tough. Rocco's tough. You want to talk directly to Don Cortex Leone? No. Don Corleone? No. Don Cortex Leone. No. You want to talk directly to him? No. You talk to me. You're talking to me. Rocco. Rocco Thalamooch. Short for Thalamus. I'll deliver the message to the boss. I'll deliver the message to the 
boss. To the boss. I'll do it. I'll do it. Only I talk to the boss. Just me. Well, almost always. You get me? Only I talk to the boss. So now we got all these functions that are waiting to talk to the boss. There they are. They're waiting. They're forming a line. Oh, my goodness. There they are. The functions are still waiting. Why can't they go in and see the boss? Don Cortex Leone. Because Thalamus, Rocco Thalamus, is blocking the way. Oh. To who? To the boss. The Cortex. The Thalamus is the only one who can talk to the Cortex. Almost always. Well, that's it for now. So long from Hoboken Gar, a.k.a. Gary D777. Thanks so much for watching. It has been super duper fun. Bye-bye now.